So, the real Age of Ultron finally begins now. Well, it begins tomorrow, but you get what I mean. Oh, hold on a second. I'll do it. I'll, I'll throw that away. No, I just got out. God. Oh! Oh, it's all over the ground. Oh, no. Put that up. I don't like badger business. So, yeah. I don't even know what episodes we're getting at this point. And, like, and by that, let me explain. So, we all thought Party Thor was going to be episode 5. Well, hell no. We got that Zombies episode for episode 5. And then, uh, and then the Killmonger episode we all thought would be episode 6, which was true. But episode 7, yeah, I pretty much had realized, ah, so basically, two episodes switch places. Okay, 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 I guess that's solid. But, like, this is supposed to be episode 9! Well, what, what ever happened to the Gamora episode? Are we still even getting that? I, okay. Alright, I, I don't even, I don't even know what to think at this point. I don't even know what to think at this point, but, like, was the Iron Man Ragnarok? Where Iron Man makes a Hulkbuster in that planet where where Valkyrie captured Thor and Thor Ragnarok was was that was that episode delayed to season two because it's been confirmed that the second ep that the tenth episode had been pushed to season two so technically the tenth episode we were supposed to get for season one we'll get to see that in season two now this season two is gonna have eleven episodes with episode ten added to season two or it's gonna have nine and each season is gonna have nine episodes which all right I'll be fine with that. Because they probably haven't had a ninth episode yet for season two. And they're like, hey guys, we're going to delay this episode to season two. And uh, how many episodes have you already made for season two? Only eight. That is actually very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kevin Feige. We'll take episode, we'll take episode, uh, episode 10 of season one as episode uh, something something for season two. No, you're, no problem. That's I think that that's what probably happened. But anyway, so yeah, hello. Welcome back to another video. This is my final thoughts before episode eight tomorrow of What If. And it is titled, What If? Ultron 1, which I'm absolutely looking forward to check this out, guys. This is taking inspiration for Avengers Age of Ultron. And I told, and here's something I found out from my dad. And I'm actually pissed at him for this. I think that, I, I don't know if he's going to see this, but there's one thing. He sucks at parenting, at doing something for his kid. And that is let his son watch the whole freaking MCU. It's, I mean, he's definitely have seen a few, only, um... Infinity War, um, I don't know about Endgame. Actually, he's never seen Endgame! But he has seen the first two Spider-Man movies, and a couple of few MC movies, I think. I think those are the only two. I don't know. I have to double-check. But basically, Ryan has not seen all... Well, he has seen Black Widow and Shang-Chi. He was with us when we went to see those in theaters. But for all 23 MCUs, minus the ones he's already seen, which I think are only Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home... And Paul Lee anymore. He definitely... Actually, he was staying watching it, but mainly fell asleep. So I guess I'll not count that. But he's basically have not seen, I guess, 21... All 21 MCU movies. And I'm pissed at my dad. Because, like, first of all, he's never taken Rylan to see Aquaman. And second of all, he's never lit... He's never... Uh, now, now, and you're probably wondering, maybe because he's not old enough? No. My dad would not be that stupid. He would allow him to watch this type of stuff. The main problem about it, he's never had him watch it. Like, basically, like, son, you could, here are 21 MCU movies that you can watch. Enjoy watching them. But don't stay up late. But enjoy watching them. Love you. Still, he's never let him, like, not, not that I'm saying he hasn't, he isn't, like, he's not, again, he isn't allowing him to not watch it. He just hasn't had him check them out. Like, Aiden Moran has never even seen all the, all the first two seasons of Mandalorian. And my dad hasn't even watched the last three seasons. No, last three episodes. Uh, uh, let me rephrase that. He hasn't seen the last three episodes of season two of Mandalorian. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping I could get something out of him once he checks out about that finale. So, yeah. Uh, guys, if you've seen Mandalorian, which you definitely have, don't spoil what it is in the comments down below because I bet my dad's going to be checking the comments. And dad, if you look at the comments, don't you dare look at the comments. I'm already pissed at you that you've never let, Ron never even took Ron to see Aquaman. I saw Aquaman in theaters with my grandparents. 
and my mom and my brother. God dang it! But anyways, I'm getting off topic. I'm getting off topic. But I'll probably, I'll be, I'll probably make a video of that soon. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably, I'll probably not. I don't know. I always say I'm gonna make a video, but I never do. But I'm getting off topic. I'm getting off topic. But yeah, I basically need. I recommend. I told Ryland to watch Age of Ultron so he see what went down in that movie because what he's about to see, like. We all know what went down in Age of Ultron, and I have a few thoughts about that movie, but that's a video for another day, which would be a movie review, but still, anyways, enough, uh, uh, we're not talking about, uh, we're technically talking about Age of Ultron, but not talking about the entire movie, we're talking about the What If episode, based on my final thoughts, just cause like, is this me, or am I getting WandaVision vibes? And that would sound weird, I know, but it's mainly for like, cause I feel like the Watcher is like Wanda, and the Watcher... Like, basically, hit Watcher can't interfering feels like Wanda can't have anyone messing up her reality show, her sitcom, and just like, Piss off! Let me have my, let me have my life, please! I just had two babies who technically have superpowers and are technically trapped, and I need to save them, which would cause the multiverse to go full madness. So, Strange, if you're trying to stop me, screw you! I need to save my kids, so piss off! Oh, man. Yeah, what I did there. Okay, that was very weird, but you got the idea. You probably got the idea, but still, it just feels similar like that. Like how Wanda, like, you know, like how Jimmy Woo was trying to contact Wanda through the stereo thing. That's basically, um, uh, whatever's, whatever's going on. Like, basically, basically, for example, uh, Jimmy Woo is ul Infinite Ultron, and he's coming into old, uh, Thor's universe, as in, Jimmy Woo is like, it's just, it's hard to explain, it's just, but, but listen to it, I'm just getting one division vibes from, from whatever, it's, just, I, that's just that, but, like, this is starting, this is, this is actually getting serious right now, cause like, I'm actually very curious, and I've still been curious about this since, I guess, day one of what date exactly, I don't freaking know, but, he for some reason goes after the Infinity Stones, that's interesting, is that because he's got a freaking Infinity Stones would be the Mind Stone in his forehead, but still. Well, we'll find out soon, and it shall all make sense, like, how it made sense for why Thor likes to have parties. Now, I was confused with the concept of that, but once I saw the episode, I understood that, and I have some thoughts about that. Yes, it's a dumb, stupid episode, I get it, but it's a dumb, stupid episode I really enjoyed, so I could see how everyone could not be a fan of that or anything, but we all have our own opinions, but still, Infinite Ultron is now, like, just, this is crazy, Infinite Ultron. Is that, is that, is no one gonna be calling on that? Cause like the mar- Just, just- I'm always like a little speechless, like this is, this is, this is, this is getting serious. This is legit getting serious, cause He's based, he's practically won. This episode is literally gonna show us How he won in Age of Ultron, and Yeah, I know where this is going. This is, we find, I, like, I, I know for a fact something dark is gonna happen, and this is this is only gonna be a dark episode. I'm calling. I'm calling it. It's gonna be a dark episode. Like I was. I like the dark episodes, but like, okay, can we take a break from the dark episodes? I think we've had enough, especially seeing Tony die so many times in the MCU. But yeah, and then we would pause on that. But now, now unpause. So just, just basically four episodes, four dark episodes, one not dark episode, and then another dark episode. Just oh god, I'm so not ready for this episode. And honestly, I'm getting. Zombie vibes, and by zombie vibes, I mean the zombie episode vibes for what if, like the what if zombies, the, the the Marvel zombies episode. You know, I'm getting the zombies episode vibes. You know, with this with episode eight, but instead of zombie apocalypse, it's a robot apocalypse. The real Age of Ultron. Now I can see how people were a bit disappointed with um Age of Ultron, but I think this episode is gonna do them a, a whole lot of favor and. Now, I'll, I'll admit this, I'll, I, I, I'm gonna be saying this again for my Age of Ultron movie review, but what I'm trying, well, yeah, what I'm gonna say is that once I heard of that, that we were getting a sequel to Avengers, I'm like, oh my god, we're getting another, we're getting another Avengers movie! What's it gonna be about? Age of Ultron, as in, Ultron's the bad guy! And I'm like, why is that name looks, why is that name sound for... Oh my god! That, that's Ultron! Why have I seen Ultra? Oh my god, no joke. I was legit scared about this because if Ultron was the villain for Age for Avengers 2, I had a feeling that I was not gonna end up liking this. Mainly because 
of the Young Avengers animated movie. And what, what, what does that have to do with any of this? Let me explain. So, Ultron killed all the Avengers in that animated movie, except for their kids. He's, ma he, he's basically trying to kill them as well, and then fully take over the world. I don't think about it. Maybe the Age of Ultron had begun years back. Instead of 2015 or something. I don't know, but... He's ba he basically killed all the Avengers. Like, the Young Avengers parents. All Avengers, which came, like... I thought of that uh, after realizing Ultron was the main villain for Age of Ultron. And after thinking about that, I then imagined it happening again, but with the MCU Avengers. I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna die. And they even showed a broken shield in the freaking trailer. And I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh god, I'm not ready for this, I'm not ready for this movie. They're gonna die, they're gonna die, they're gonna die. Luckily, they did not die. And there was one thing I was hoping I would see in Age of Ultron, that'd be Hulk beating the crap, or better, destroying Ultron, since he did, since he has done that in the animated movie. And, yeah, I pretty much got what I asked for, because he basically not only punches Ultron, but he also gets him back for, um, basically shooting Quicksilver. Wait a minute, wait a minute, speaking about Quicksilver, is he gonna be in this episode along with Wanda? That's so Quicksilver. Why, John Sweden? Why you had to kill him off? Damn it, man. It's been like five years. Six years. Between five or six years. Just... You're a disgrace to superheroes. Both Marvel and DC. Alright, I'm getting off topic here. But I, I pretty much got worried for nothing. Because I should have known the Avengers would have won. Because all I was worried about... Was, I've been worried about Ultron killing the Avengers. What I should have been worried about was Thanos destroying half the universe. Because, like, I was, like, I was worried about the Avengers dying in Age of Ultron. And I'm, like, after it came out of the theater, I'm, like, what was I even worried? I don't, I, I don't know what was I worried about. And then I see Infinity War, and I'm, like, they're totally going to, it's going to be a cliffhanger, but Thanos will probably get, like, three Infinity Stones or something. Or they'll win. Because... Because I'm, like, thinking that part two is, like, no, nah, no, nah, they're totally going to win this one. But if I were old enough, I should have thought of, like, if it's a part two, oh, no, something's going to happen. Maybe I would have thought of this. Maybe he gets three Infinity Stones. Now, he gets all six Infinity Stones, snaps his goddamn fingers, and boom, all the Avengers died. I should have worried about that. I was basically going crazy. Like, here's this meme where Shelton is just, like, I need answers. That's just me right there, but with me for in like with me looking up everything about Infinity War, basically preparing myself for the worst but the best MC movie in 2018. God, I love this meme. I need to learn how to make memes. But anyway, so yeah. Now that I think about it, this episode is pretty much gonna be showing us how he would have won, which would mean. I'm actually going to see what I had feared five or six years ago. Ultron's gonna kill all these freaking Avengers. Yeah, I'm totally not ready for this episode. And now that I think about it, so I don't even. So what about the Gamora episode? I'm thinking that Gamora episode. Maybe there. Maybe there may. Sadly, I don't even think we're even gonna get the Gamora episode because episode nine. Here's why I think is gonna happen in episode nine. So basically. Episode 8 is going to be about how Ultron wins and how he's going to pretty much invade and become a, multi a multiversal threat. And then once that happens, Episode 9 is going to be focused... It's going to be showing us continuations of the of all 8 episodes. Basically, we're going to see what happened after Episode 6, 5, hopefully 5, uh, 4, 3, 2... I don't know about one. I don't, uh, probably one. Probably one. But we're going to be seeing continuations for all eight episodes. For episode nine. And then once the Watcher finally interferes. He's going to be interfering. Guys, come on. Come on. Like, he's going to be freaking interfering. But once he interferes, he's going to be assembling the Guardians of the Multiverse. And it's up to them to stop Infant Ultron from destroying the multiverse. But first what I'm trying to say is that the Gamora episode, I think that... Pretty much takes place in the same universe as how Starlord became T'Challa. No, wait, no, wait, T'Challa. How how T'Challa became Starlord because 
Then I just kind of gave up trying to find all six of these stones. So, uh, and we saw Nebula, who's got blonde hair, but where was Gamora? Oh, I know. She's doing her dad's business, so. Yeah, I guess that's just how, I guess that's where, I guess, like, go, I think I just, I guess that's where we're going to see uh, Gamora. Especially in the same universe as uh, Stellar Chella. But that's just one thing about it, because that's just all I can come up with. I don't know how we're going to get, because, like, I highly doubt that's going to be for episode 9. Th that should have been for episode 8. But since episode 8 is going to be about Ultron, so, yeah, we're not going to be seeing the Gamora episode. But I I, I honestly don't know what the, what they even think, guys, because, like, I, I've been right about this, wrong about this, right about this, wrong about this with this theory I had, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm honestly, it's cr I'm, I'm losing my mind. But yeah, we're going to be seeing all continuation for all eight episodes in episode nine. And then, like I said earlier, the Guardians of the Multiverse are going to assemble and kick Infinite Ultron's butt. But I don't know what they get to do with Infinity Stones, but I put them back where they belong in the universe, but we shall see. But anyways, that's just my final thoughts for episode eight. Before it comes out tomorrow, I'm going to be watching it with my brother since he was pissed at me for not waking him up to watch episode seven. So yeah, I'm gonna pretty much be waking up not only him but D. We're gonna watch it in the bedroom. Let's just—I'm actually gonna go talk to D about that because he's because I, I don't I don't know I don't know. I'm gonna try and make sure he doesn't watch the episode with us because he was he hasn't saw episode five, so I was able to stop him from watching episode five. But D, if you watch episode eight without us, I will freaking. Anyways, that's my final thoughts. Let me know what thoughts comes down below, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned for my reaction tomorrow. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, which would be. My final thoughts for the season finale of What If. As always, peace out. Does Doctor Strange even know what's even happening in the multiverse? Oh, no way. He's too busy um, casting a spell for for Peter to have the world forget about Spider-Man. Well, we all know what happened. Peter messed up. And he, yeah, yes, I'm talking about the No Way Home trailer. When are we going to get the second No Way Home trailer again? Is it October or November? Oh, yeah, not talking!